Alright. YouTube, we back with another one. Back at it, it again. Uh, we're gonna do a video on the four trimmers that change the game. Got my boy here, Cody, aka Primetime239. Y'all hit me up on Instagram. Yo, he's real nice with it, works in the same shop as I do. And you know, we're constantly trying to learn, we're constantly trying to grow, and we just want to share some of what we know, and we want to learn something from you. So if you got videos, or you're doing your thing on YouTube, leave a comment in the section, and we're going to check you out too, man. We just want to spread the love. Let's right? see it, man. We can all <laughs> teach each other, man. So let's get it. Why don't we start? Start us off with uh, the old timers, the old bangers, the ones that still are holding true today, and everybody still loves them. So... Go with it. I think that's, uh, that's of course, these. The T-Outliners, man. The Andis T-Outliners. These are definitely, definitely my best trimmers. Um, and recently, you know, the new trend uh, cutting off the part of the body or whatever. Skeleton. It, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely dope, man. You can access, uh, access everything you need to make it, you know, hit it. Get it to hit harder and crispier on your edge ups and everything. Um, but this this has been a uh, a clipper that that like in the other video um it hasn't changed uh as far as you know style and everything like that goes it, it's looked the same for a long time man and um they even got another one uh the GTXs I believe that's what I'm rocking with right here on my station uh you know doing the skeleton with this, it just gives it so easy to see what you're doing. I mean, you got yeah. nothing in the way here, and it just makes it so easy to work with, and it's it's really a joy to use. A lot of people don't like these trimmers because they don't really know how to set them just right to yeah. really get them to hit. And I mean, for me, it ain't about no hocus pocus. It ain't about no you know things that you can do uh, sh scraping them with this and that. It's it's about getting them set right, and that's the truth of it. Okay, so. I'm gonna leave a link for that video that I did for how to get these to hit really nice and I'll show you some of the stuff you gotta look into and go through. But for now, I'm gonna leave that for the other video. But these things are nice, all right? Not only are they easy to use, you can see where they're at. You got access to the blade tensioner screw right here. So if they're not hitting right, you can try messing with that and you can zero gap them and they go in man they go in and they last a long time once you got them set just right you really don't want to mess with them too much and they'll just keep hitting for you yeah that was big that skeleton move like around the ear and stuff like that places you can't really see when you're going into it yeah that skeleton really helped it out so that was that that's definitely a good clipper but that uh like he's holding the gtx's man like these ones these are the regular t outliners those are the gtx's the gtx's when they came out they really changed uh the blade um off deep as tooth. well yes yeah, the it's the wide deep tooth and um that's really good for cutting maybe a little bit thicker hair because they tend to you know they might bog up a little bit on on a little bit thicker hair longer hair whatever you want to call it um but for shorter hair these are definitely the go-to for all my lineups and you know back of the taper and everything like that so these are definitely the go-to but those help for longer hair if you know somebody wants a, a square back or a rounded back whatever it might be you know those definitely help out i want to ask you guys anybody out there who's worked with the gtx and the outliner too like have you noticed any difference because i got a pair of outliners they hit just as good as my GTX, despite the thick cord and despite the blade difference. Like, I really haven't seen a huge, huge difference for, for me personally. Like, have you? Uh, like I said, only on like, you know, sometimes you notice on the, on the, you know, thicker head, I notice it, but not, you yeah. know, it's not a whole bunch. I mean, they came out with this new cord. It's a thicker cord. It's a different, um, it's a different plug-in, you know, it's the three-prong plug-in now. It's supposed yeah. to have more power. I really don't notice the difference, man. It's still a strong clipper. It's, it's a good clipper, but I, I didn't notice the difference in the GTXs at all. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of my feeling. Like, I didn't really notice a big uh, difference between the two, but they both can be some pretty heavy hitters, and they're great. I mean, now it's time to knock them a little bit. Is they? I have had pairs that got kind of hot. Oh. Okay. Real quick. This pair doesn't. No. Or maybe it's because I'm faster now. But I don't really run into that with, with this pair. But I've had students 
come to me and tell me why is it getting so hot well yeah if you got them on for 45 minutes doing a lineup because you knew they're gonna get hot but you know I, I really haven't run into that too much with my GTX as I have with the outliner too but the other thing that that I would knock these on is like it can be a little bit touchy to get these to hit just right and oh, when yeah. they start bogging down and you're in the middle of your day you don't have time when you're down in the trenches trying to work a line out the door like we were earlier and if your clipper's not working right or your trimmer's not working right you know it's going to cost you time and it's going to cost you money so you want to have something else kind of hanging around that you can go to and just deal with these again later but when they hit they hit now my other knock on them is when you go to doing designs and you take this into the hair and you're trying to make like circular shapes and just drag the corner uh it don't cut too well it, it doesn't cut too well no. it doesn't like it's, it's not really meant to cut like that but if you're doing a design that has a lot of straight lines in it and you're putting you know that's that's where this thing really shines like doing hard parts this is great for oh, doing hard parts kid. yeah we you do. get that hard part <laughs> yeah knock you know? it out in no time man yeah you can see exactly where you're going with it and you don't have that problem where you have this big piece in the way and you can't really see and you wind up making the, the hard part too thick or whatever, you know. But this just makes it this just makes it a lot easier to work with. But you know, it'd be kinda cool to see Andis start start just manufacturing them like this and just and just dropping the, the old shell design so that we don't have to take our hacksaws and go to town. But if we do, we do. <laughs> but um, I think that's definitely a, a clipper uh, that should be in every barber kit. I mean, yeah. would you agree? I agree. I mean, whether you use it every time or not, yeah. I think it should be there. For sure. So, yeah, for sure. But when that thing's not working, when I'm having trouble, I go back home to my wall. <laughs> all right. And for me, probably the best day in and day out trimmer that I've ever used that's never let me down, never bogged down, never gave me any troubles, and always cuts clean, is the wall hero. <laughs> that, that little thing, man? Yeah. Man, uh, you can pick this up sometimes on Amazon for like $32. Oh, yeah. You know? What other, what other trimmer can you scoop for $32? It's so light. It's lighter than a feather. Yeah. You know? Ergonomically, it's not the greatest. I would love to see a little more distance here, kind of yeah, like, for sure. you know, if, if we could skeleton these, I mean, if anybody has skeleton these, please let me know how to turn out. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't say enough good about these, and these really shine when you're doing designs. I was going to go back to what you were just saying. I think that's that's really where they're the best at is, yeah. you know, is that, that hook area when you're, when you're able to uh, use the corner of that blade to um to be able to do that it really shines in that area whereas you know the t outliners don't as much so you can you can lay this corner and just drag it through hair and most of the time it cuts beautiful i don't ever run into issues and in fact in my student kits uh at the at the barber school i work at i, I got control over what what they get in their student kits and i used to put the outliner twos in there but i went back to putting the heroes because they're just new, they're just getting started, and the heroes are always gonna be there for them. And even if they go, you know, years down the road, they might not use these, they might use the outliners, but you know, at least they'll have these to fall back on. So when you get down in the trenches, this thing stops working, okay, great. You pick up your heroes that you know is always gonna get you good. Another side note is this is using the same motor as the peanuts. And I know y'all, some of y'all are gonna clown me about using peanuts, but the <laughs> peanuts were some hitters. <laughs> right? oh, they were some hitters, for real. I mean, I'm going back, you know, 15 years ago, the, the peanuts were, were kind of like, you know, they were up there as far as like, they were ugly. They didn't look the greatest, but man, did they cut good. So. One thing about those too is they do not overheat at no. all. You know, these things, uh, these things are nice, man. They're, they're, they're nice in the hand and nice and light. Um, and like I said, the big thing, man, is that they don't overheat. You know, that's that's a big thing with trimmers now. You know, sometimes you want to take a second, uh, talk to your client or whatever. You can't leave, you know, the T outliners running while you're speaking to your client. It just, it, it's gonna overheat real quick, and and you gotta go back with the cool care spray, it, and then you're back in the same situation a couple minutes later. So yep. these these trimmers, man, they they they're great and they're very easy to zero gap. Usually out of the box, man, these things these things hit. So uh, 
definitely, definitely some hitters. I suggest it. Uh, very reasonable in price, always. Um, you can pick them up even even at Sally's for a decent price. Uh, and we know how much you know they're kind of yeah. overpriced. So and they'd be taxing but still. <laughs> definitely, definitely. You know, but uh, yeah, that's some good trimmers, man. So let's. Uh, I guess we should do the you know the the cousin to the wall heroes. Uh, a lot of people really like the detailers and before we go any further do you prefer the T wide blade or do you prefer the regular STD blade I mean personally I prefer the smaller blade I think it's helpful for when you're doing designs and you and you need to you know have a little bit less space in there so that you can lay the blade flat more often I think it's really cool and when I come in them situations where I need a little bit wider of a blade I mean I can just take two two taps and I can get the same thing I mean that's my theory on it that's how I feel about it but if you like the T-Y blade, um, tell me why in the comments, man. I myself like the T-Y blade um, because I like that front edge. It just helps me out getting a little bit crispier, especially on those corners. You know, yeah. you, know you know, it just it's a it's a good, good tool for that specific area to get that there. Um, yeah. so, you know, you don't have to you don't have to hit it as many times on the front front edge as you do with that one. But but yeah, I mean, the detailers were definitely a game changer. Um, when they first came out, I thought they were the greatest thing. I, I enjoy using them. I think ergonomically they feel good. I like where the on-off switch is. It's yeah. kind of it's kind of nice. I can just click it with my pinky. And these things always get down to business, man. I mean, they they always cut clean. And like I said, I, I mean, Wall, you're one of my favorite companies, and I think that you make one of the best products out there. But beyond that. You guys stand behind your products, and anytime I've ever had a problem with one of these, I send it back and I get a new one. And they're they're in you know really good company. Can't say enough good. Not money. getting paid or sponsored, so no, nah, I'm not getting <laughs> paid to say this, man. I'm just trying to spread it, but it's it's the truth. The wall has the best customer service in my experience. Absolutely. If anybody else has any other uh, opinions about who's got the best customer service, leave a comment in the. In the comment section good stories or horror stories we know we got them all man yeah I'd like to hear it but um, you know I, I, we also have the other one here the cordless wall detailer yeah that was a that was a big move for wall to do man they they actually did it um recently the T outliners came out um, and they dropped a wireless one it took them a little bit longer to do but uh the detailers when they dropped these, man, that it was definitely, definitely dope that they did that. Um, I like them. I let him use them. Uh, he's not a big fan on them because uh, he does more designs than I do, and the way it feels in his hand or whatever. But um, I, I, I really do like these clippers. The fact that they're wireless, because I'm a big fan of the detailers, like really big fan. Uh, I love the detailers. I always have. Um, these these can zero gap uh, takes a little bit um, this morning I came in and zero gapped them because I haven't <laughs> used them for a little while but it, it, it took a little time to uh, to zero gap them but they, they are definitely a good clipper I like them so and then tell them about that lever oh yeah you're able to adjust that and um, you, you can make it so it isn't as sharp and then you know when I got my other guys, you know, get the hard parts or you know get get the edge ups and all that, I can I can go right back to the zero gap with no problem, and that that really is great, you know. So you don't you don't nick somebody up or whatever, especially on the kids. You tend to irritate their skin, might even you know cut them a little bit. And you you don't want to do that, believe me. That yeah <laughs> yeah for real. I mean, as far as using these things go. I really would have to just defer to Cody on this because I, I haven't used them for a good, you know, I don't like to review things that I haven't used very much. And, I, and like I said, I haven't really used this beyond using them on a couple haircuts. Probably if I sat for a good two weeks with them and, and used it for a good two weeks, I could give you a solid recommendation. But for right now, I'm just going to have to defer to him. They, these feel like really big in my hand and they feel like just, you know, but but maybe if I use them for a little bit of time, I might come to enjoy it. So what else is good about those is the battery life. You know, um, the battery life on those have really really stood up to you know what I needed. They cut wet hair, they cut dry hair. They, it's it's really been good for me. Yeah. So, anyways, 
Um, we covered the detail, we covered the heroes, and we covered the outline and tools. But a clipper that's really changed the game for for most of us is this and this Slimline Pro Li. No doubt. This thing is a beast, man. <laughs> I mean, ain't no other way to put it. It's reasonably priced. All right? Very reasonable. And it, and it hits just great out of the box. You can zero gap it to. It's light, ergonomically, it feels great, and it just seems like they don't quit. It seems like they got a lot of power, and they hold up pretty good, and the battery life is decent. And then the other cool thing is they come with the stand. So when you're not using them, it's back on the stand, they're charging, they're ready, they're getting those little quick charges in between clients, and boom, you know? And you're happy with them. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with them. I think that they, they really hit a home run with this one. And I don't see a reason to go and spend $200 on the cordless T outliner. I mean, that's just me. Oh, heck no. I think it's <laughs> a, a disaster for their company to do something like that. And I think it's just a poor, you know, a poor price point to start with. But I haven't used them. So again, just because of the price and because there's so many other clippers out there and trimmers out there, I just don't see the reason for me to spend the money on it just yet. When there's so many other options, and there's so many people that have taken care of that company for so long, you know, it's kind of like disrespectful. It's a slap in the face to want to charge somebody, you know, $300 for something, you know, without a wire, when I could just buy the one with the wire for $50, you know, yeah. or buy or buy the Slimline Pros, you yeah. know, it, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. So The, the customer service over there at Andy's is, is not the greatest. They're not the easiest to deal with. They only stand behind their products to some extent. And if, if it's if you're out of the year, they don't care about you, man. It's just like, you know, stuck they don't want like to fix Chuck. it. You're stuck like Chuck. Even if you send it off to them, I mean, there's been times where I've sent stuff off to them and I haven't even got it back. So that's sure. one thing. Um, and it's, I wish you would step your game up on that because I think it hurts you more in the long run if people are not happy with your customer service. Secondly, I've gone through a lot of pairs of these. I got two of them sitting over here on my station and the battery is just not holding up. My first one I got lasted me a whole year. Yeah. No problems. That was it. No problems. My second one I got, two months. Done. Third one I got, two months. Done. And now I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, do I want to buy one that's only going to last me a couple months? Do I want to continue to go through the trouble of sending it back? And you know, the answer is I've kind of, I've kind of come to like working with no cord. Um, and I, I don't know if I want to continue doing that. I could just pick one of these other ones up with a cord and get my work done and not be bothered by any of this. I mean, that's kind of how I'm feeling. So I'm sort of on the fence about that, but when they hit, they hit. Oh, for sure. And I will have to say, for, for me to be able to use these on the beach or disappearing off to other locations or even just using them uh, at home or whatever, you want to tidy yourself up, they, they're definitely a game changer. I, I mean, agree. for sure. I agree. So, this here is our, our four game changers for the trimmers. Any one of these that you have, you'll probably be pretty happy with it. And it's really going to help you in the long run. If you have a game changer that we didn't list, leave us a comment. Tell us what's up. And if you think that we should have included something. Because we left out the M3 and we left out the Styliner 2. And we might have left out some of the other trimmers that we could have talked about but the fact is we don't use them yeah, so yeah. I really want to know if you guys feel like there's any other yeah. ones out there because these are these are definitely ours so if you guys have any spread the love spread the knowledge man yeah so um, anyways that about wraps it up for us I thank you for watching I thank you for tuning in I thank you Cody for stopping no doubt. in no doubt. and uh, doing this video here with me and you're gonna wanna stick around. I got a couple other cool videos coming up, but until then in my next video, man, I'm out. Peace.